Uh -huh. My question is. Say again. I don't hear very well. Activate the microphone. So, Professor, we're doing a test next week, correct? No, no, next week. It's September 21st. Oh, okay, okay. And it's uh, going to be on we have Alex? Time. We have time. Yes, yes, yes. You are right. Pause me. Okay. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know if you see or no the whiteboard. Do you see or no? Okay, good. And today we're discussing, okay, uh huh, uh, equations and inequality involving. Professor, did you start recording? Yes, I I, 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 I did that. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Let me check it just in case. Yes, it's recording now. Okay. Okay, let me refresh your memory about absolute value one number and what means geometrically absolute value so we have the number line uh -huh. and suppose that i need to find the actual value positive three positive one positive two positive three this is one two three uh -huh. And absolute value by definition is the distance between the zero and the point you have inside this bar that represents absolute value. So it is one, two, three steps. And the answer is three. Uh -huh. Similarly, similarly, see it's negative three. Okay, this is negative one, this is negative two. It's the same because the distance between zero and negative three is one, two, three. Again, a three. Because remember, when you're talking about distance, distance is always positive. Positive quantity. That like have no sense, say, to talking about negative distance. Negative displacement, yes, but no negative distance. Distance is, a, by definition, no? is, is, the, is the concept that is always part. Okay? Uh -huh. Now, suppose now that we have equation that involve absolute value, and suppose elementary, element, the most elementary equation. Absolute value x is equal to 3. And I copy the same number because I take advantage of this. So basically, I understand that this is equivalent equivalent to one equation that is x equal to 3, uh -huh, because 3 in red color, uh, or x equal to minus 3. So we have two solutions. Okay, the, the thing I want to emphasize is that this is the the rule that we are using to solving any equation that contains absolute value, rule. So you remove, okay, in, in conclusion, you remove, you have the equation, you remove the bar, uh -huh. you copy two times the expression, we don't have put X as easier, but the expression inside the bar, you remove the bar, uh -huh. And you put the right hand side using positive sign and negative sign. And done. That's it. Example number one to understand this rule. And suppose here you have absolute value to x plus seven plus one equals seven. I, I guarantee you can in the test you see one equation like that. It contain absolute value. The, the, the student who don't know anything remove the bar like that and solve the equation and the, and end the story no this is wrong completely wrong no okay you using that rule and that rule say okay you remove the bar so you copy the expression inside the bar without bar equal seven and we have another equation okay is two x plus one remove the bar again equal negative seven so we have two solutions we have two solutions. Well, not always, but 
uh, often, the, the most of the time, we have two solutions in this kind of equation. And the rest is okay. Uh, subtract the one, bring down to x, cancel out that part, seven minus one is six, divided by two, x is equal to three. And this is my first solution. And my second is subtracting one again, 2x is equal to minus 8 divided by 2, both sides negative. And we have two solutions. The solution R, solution set for this equation is positive 3 and negative 4. Or negative 4 and positive 3, it doesn't matter. The order is, is totally irrelevant. Question. Any question? No. No. Everyone say no. Crystal clear? Okay. I want to, you know, complicate a little bit, but just a little bit, not too much. Okay. Suppose this equation, x plus 3 plus i equal 12. Uh huh. And the professor explains some rule. Okay, it's that rule. Uh -huh, that rule, the professor explained that rule. Uh -huh, in which you remove the bar and you take the right hand side positive and negative. No? Uh -huh. The problem is in this example, mm -mm -mm, this uh, equation is not ready to apply this rule right now. Because the reason is because the absolute value expression is not already isolated. The, the first step, the new step, is isolate the expression in that contains absolute value. No, and how you move five to the other side. This is twelve minus five. Okay, it's a minus five. Sorry, okay, it's seven. Mm -hmm. Now I rewrite again my equation, but using uh, the way that we need to apply the rule. The rule say you remove the bar, uh -huh, and you remove the bar, oh, remove the bar, and equal minus zero. And you solve it separately. And we connect it by or, or mean union, this, this and this together, right? So now you separate, you convert the problem into, into different equations, and you manipulate. 7 minus 3 is 4. Uh huh. Uh huh. And like y here, x is equal to minus 7 minus 3, get negative 10. Mm -hmm. This is the solution for this equation. It is again two solutions. The original equation, look at that. Solution set for this equation is uh, 4 and negative 10, or oh, whatever you want. So I to prefer negative 10 and 4, it doesn't matter. And the set, uh, the order is no importance. So basically, uh, when you write set, set have two important properties. Set don't allow repetition. So it's, it's totally irrelevant to write one comma one comma two. No, only one, only one element. See, it's repeated. You take one time. This is one property. Another property is that the set one comma two is equivalent to the set two comma one. That the order is totally irrelevant. Okay, does it crystal clear? You always isolate the absolute value, apply the rule, and the story. Super easy. Everyone follow me? I so, for, for uh -huh. been, that's when you mean isolating the absolute value when you move five over to the right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, step one, step zero to start the problem is isolated. Yeah, isolate, barrel, absolute value. Absolute value, let me call term. Uh-huh. When this actual value is already isolated, so you apply the rule. 
Now, step one, step one, apply that rule. And the rule is easy. Remove the, the bar of the absolute value and you split in two equations, one positive, one negative. The right hand side, sorry. Uh -huh. Let me try another example, different, completely different. Suppose, suppose, suppose. Here we have example three. Example three say, uh -huh, absolute value 5x minus 3 equal negative 4. Oh, 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 this is very, very, very tricky. This is very, very, very confusing. This is very, very weird because the professor explained me the actual value always when I compute the actual value, give me positive solution, never negative solution. Well, to say the thing is on the right hand side in one inequality is negative number. This is the contradiction. I see the contradiction we have no solution. It's super easy. No solution because I know the actual value uh, produce yield negative a positive number always mandatory by definition. And again, what happened? Well, okay, okay, maybe, maybe sometime I try to confuse you. And to say, put it for example here, plus ten equal six, and you say, ah, oh, well, no, no, in this case, yes, we have solution because the right-hand side is no negative, it's positive. No, you're wrong. Because the first step, or step zero, is isolate the actual value expression. When you are doing this action, you move this 10 to the right-hand side, like a minus 10. And when you subtract it, it's negative 4. And we come back at the beginning, no solution. So keep in mind that the step zero is isolate the uh -huh. But the SCC, remember, when the right hand side, when the right hand side in, in equation that contains absolute value is positive, yes, we have solution. How many solutions? Two solutions. And when the right hand side is negative, we have no solution. How many solutions? Zero solution. No solution. Uh -huh. And what happens when the right hand side is zero? What happens when the right hand side is zero? Suppose this example is straightforward. 2x minus 2 equals to 0. Well, professor, I have no idea because, because I don't know. See, I can or no apply the rule. Yes, you can. Well, what's the problem? The problem is that 0 have no sign. You say, have no sense, no sense to talking about positive 0 and negative 0. So say, in this case, yes. It's completely illegal to remove totally the bar like that. And no two equations, because in one equation you put positive zero and other you put negative zero. No, have no sense because zero have no signs. If so, believe you focus in this elementary equation, only one equation, and to say 2x equal to divided by 2, x equal 1. And this is the solution. Only one solution. Like, to summarize, to conclude that topic of the equation, we have three possibilities. Okay, you have a absolute value, any expression, a equal, a, any a positive number. So this is positive number. Positive number. Well, in this case, I know automatically, okay, we have two solutions. Okay. Uh -huh. Suppose this is the first scenario. The second scenario is when you have equation like that, and here we have negative number. So this is totally contradiction. We have no solution, so we have zero solution. No solution equals zero. No, it's totally empty set. How many? Zero. In other words, empty. And this said, remember the symbolic way to indicate a mathematical empty set look like similar to the zero, but no, include one extra. 
extra stick like that. Bang. And the third scenario is you have any equal to zero. And we have only one. One solution. Unique. How you find that? Easy. Remove the bar and end the story. In this case, you remove the bar. I, I warning. I warning today. Today is today is September 9, no? I warning that no too much. But some students make a mistake that when you try to solve the inequality doing this, look, I put on the test something like that. Absolute value phi x plus two equal eight. And so to say, some student, not all students. When I don't care, this bar, I erase this, and I start solving this, subtracting two. Uh huh. Bring down phi x, cancel out that part. This is six divided by five. Uh huh. X equals six over five. This is completely wrong, you know. Because I know, I know that okay, we have two solutions. Well, yes, this six over five is one solution. But behind this idea, we have a conceptual mistake. Because I put zero, zero. When I saw this mistake, I put in this equation, zero. Big zero like that. Okay? Any question? Do you understand very well equation that contain absolute value? Can you explain the right answer to that question? Which one? The one you just did. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. You say meter in this one, no? Okay, it was 5x plus 2. You say in this? Equal 8. You say in this? Uh, meter. meter? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. I understand. Okay. I mean, question number one, the expression can contain actual but it's already isolated, yes or no? Yes. What is the answer? Yes or no? It's already isolated? Yes. 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 Entonces, entonces, we are ready to apply the rule. The rule is, you copy the expression inside the bar, two times, separately, a little bit, and you put it right hand side using positive sign and negative sign. So my equation is equivalent to two equations separate, and the solution of both equations is belong to the solution for the original equation. Let's do it. Subtract into what I did before 5x equals 6 divided by 5, x equals 6 over 5. Let me bring algebra frequently when you have a fraction solution. We express the solution in improper fraction. Improper means the numerator is greater than the denominator. Well, so it's proper or improper, but no mixed number. You know, okay, you divide 6 divided by 5, and 1, subtract 5, remain 1, it doesn't 1 over 5, like a mixed number. No. In algebra, no. Well, no, so you write like that, it's okay, I agree, okay. However, the frequency of the style in algebra is improper fraction. Let's do it in the second. The second subtracting two. Bring down 5x. Cancel out that part. Negative 10. Bar by 5. x is equal to negative 2. Okay, that's what my solution. One of my solution set for this equation is 6 over 5, comma, negative 2. Uh, totally in, no problem. My pleasure, anytime. Any question? You feel strong in the equation? Everyone feel strong in the equation? We, you are capable to destroy an equation? Okay, uh -huh. maybe I confuse a little bit, but no, 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 don't worry. You isolate the actual value. When you isolate the actual value on the right hand side, you have negative number, oh, no solution. That's it. Independent that 
the, the, in the original equation, we have right hand side positive, but when you isolate it negative, and so we are in big trouble and no solution. Okay, let's focus now on the inequality. Okay, inequality is a little bit more complicated. Inequality with absolute value. Bueno, first of all, you know, we have two kinds of the inequality. So we have the inequality contain less than, and the inequality contain greater than, no? And this is completely different weight, completely different rule. Let's focus it in the case less than. Let's focus in case less than. Suppose this elementary inequality. Uh, absolute value x less than three. Okay, let me try to understand graphically the idea. This is my Orian number line. This is zero in the middle. One, two, three. One, two, three. Remember the the solution for inequality is interval. Uh -huh. So what is the interval to satisfy this condition? Well, well, well. And my opinion is this. Why? Because in my mind, I interpretation this idea like a distance. This guy is like a distance. Distance uh, between zero and positive three or negative three, both, of course, because absolute value converts somehow automatically negative number to positive number uh -huh, is close because less than is is a short distance less than short okay just in case no 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 i have professor i i i i, I want more clear explanation suppose i want to evaluate for example one two negative one negative two and either value no necessary whole number, no necessary a natural number, maybe any real number in between negative three and positive three satisfy this inequality. Let me show you, let me show you. For example, one, plug it in one, plug at x equal one. Absolute value one, less than three. Well, absolute value, positive number is the same number, and this statement is true. Uh -huh. Suppose at x equal negative one. Absolute value negative one, less than three. Absolute value one, less than three. Again, it's true. And similar situation happen in negative two and negative two point five. Uh -huh. And now, of course, this is what, what's going on in the end point, positive three and negative two. Well, in this case, don't belong to the solution because my inequality have no equal sign. Ah, uh, well, well. And a professor, you see, my inequality have equal sign. Ah, well, okay, include the endpoint. Yeah, I put instead of parenthesis, I put the bracket. You know that, right? Okay, so what is the rule, professor? Well, the rule is clear. Look at that. The rule is let me show you. The rule is a little bit different to the equation. Okay, this is statement. Three, for example, uh, S equivalent. I proof, I proof geometrically here. Okay, it's equivalent to say okay, X is in between positive three and negative three. It's a root. This is a root. Of course, to understand much better the rule, you can see apply in a specific example, no? So when you have one equation, one inequality, sorry, inequality, no equation. Mm -hmm. Then you remove the bar, but you are doing this. Let me show you example. Example one for the inequality less than. Suppose, suppose. Absolute value, 2x plus 1. Less than seven. Okay, immediate identification. Well, uh, it's less than. So the professor explained me that we have two cases. 
eh, number one, que es les dan, I suppose que we have to act greater than. Entonces, the rule is, you remove the bar. The bar, this is equivalent. Equivalent, equivalent means que es the same. You copy the expression inside the bar, remove the bar, say, stay away, and put less than seven, and greater than negative seven. I read in, I, I read that like a greater than, because I read in inverse in, in opposite direction. No? And you know, que, eh, inequality is very, very sensitive with the direction. But it doesn't matter, it's, it, it's, uh, it's aromatic. I copy the expression inside the bar. Copy here. Uh, right hand side, okay, in this case, seven. You go be here, two eyes, but one positive and one negative. And to say in this moment, let me go be again one more time. We have in my hand one compound inequality, similar, similar, similar to the inequality we studied last lecture. And to say super easy, you subtract in one. Mm -hmm. By color, this is negative 8, less than 2x, bring down, this is cancel out, that was the intention, and this is 6. Finally, divided by 2, divided by 2, this is negative 4, less than x, less than 3. Okay, for practice the notation, let's express it, this answer in the uh, three different notations that we are studying last lecture. However, I guarantee you 100% in the test I need interval notation. But don't worry, be happy. Let's do it one by one. We have time. Look, suppose I want to express the professor in the test say, uh, set builder notation. Well, okay, I, I remember that you open this one. You put an A of the variable, it's X. You put a special symbol such that. Remember this symbol is equivalent to say such that. And you just copy here, negative four, less, mm, in this case I read from left to right, less than x, less than three, and close the cooler bracket. End the story. This is set builder notation. Okay, but I I know I know I know clear. I need to understand much better this. Okay, okay. So let's do it graphically to understand much better. Okay, graphic is minus infinity, positive infinity. Uh huh. And this is zero. It's positive three. One, two, three. Here. And negative four. Negative one. Negative two. Negative three. And negative four. Okay, as the interval mm, 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 in between, in between. In between negative four and positive three, uh, and include uh, both endpoints. No, no, because I don't see equal sign. And the symbolic way to indicate this idea is using parentheses. This is graphic um, notation. Uh -huh. Graphic notation. Graphic. And the most important for the test is interval notation. It's easier because interval notation you copy two, two number or, or, or symbol, depending on symbol infinity or not. In this case, no, it's a negative four and positive. You copy the lower first, lower bound. You copy the upper bound, the three, separate back comma, and in this case, open balance. End the story, we finish. This is the solution of this Inequality. Look at that, this one. Can we start at the beginning? Any question? The solution of this is this. An interval. Everyone follow me or totally lost? Follow me? Follow? Yes, yes. Okay. Sure? Okay, nobody is sleeping? Let me check again the, the attendant. Uh, Clifford, say present. 
Okay. Present. Present. Excellent. Uh, let me see. Is Woodbridge. 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 I'm you, here. Did, here. Okay. This is your first name. Woodbridge. Woodbridge. And what is your last name? Woodbridge. Exactly. Uh, Keonia. Keonia. Are you present? Keonia. Yes, yes, I'm here. Oh, no, no, okay, okay, okay. okay. Sorry. Uh, da Daniel? Yes, Daniel? Daniel? Okay, Daniel. Daniel, put him off the microphone. Aha, uh -huh, good, very good. Uh, Elvia? And the rest, I know, Carolina and so on. Okay, super, super. We are the best in Miami Day College. Okay, this is, I suppose you understand very well this, no? But I want to complicate more. Huh? It's too easy. Okay, those are now example two of the inequality. But in this case, we continue working in the case less than. Okay, example two of the less than. I don't want to practice a little bit more less than. Suppose this, suppose this, example two. Absolute value x plus y minus two less than 12. So the professor explained one rule. Uh, I want to copy the rule that the professor explained in case actual value of any expression less than one number. Let me let me represent the number like, like a box like that. It's a number. Any is any expression and the box. It's equivalent, it's equivalent to copy the any expression in between in between this box positive and this box negative. So suppose, uh, suppose the uh, specific thing is a positive thing and it's a negative. And this expression without bar. And you convert the inequality to contain absolute value in one compound inequality. Compound. The inequality. Exactly the same we saw in last time. Uh -huh. This is the rule. This is the rule. It's, it's complicated or no? It's a rule. I close the box because it's important. This is a rule. Rule for less than inequality. Uh -huh. so you can apply this rule in this example. No, unfortunately. Why not? Because the actual value expression is not already isolated. Okay, so you isolate, it's test zero, isolate. Mm -hmm. And you move 12 to the right hand side, like it, 12 plus 2, no, and 14. So I rewrite again my equation, my inequality, sorry, actual value of x plus 5, less than 14. Okay, I put equal sign here because in that part is equal, but in this part, no. You replace, just replace mentally 12 plus 2 and 14. Okay, ready. Now it's ready. And the easiest, you copy this, this expression inside the bar without bar. It's in between positive 14 and negative 14. Okay, and you solve in this. Subtract the 5. Subtract the 5. This is a negative 19. Bring down x. This is cancel. And this is nine. No. Okay. Now, suppose that I want to use present only interval notation in the test. Well, it's doing. You copy parentheses negative nineteen comma nine. Done. Final. If you want to represent graphic? You can use the number line. No, 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 no. For the moment, no. I only did the interval of this. Okay, this is one more thing, one more example. So you understand very well, let me know. Example three of the less than, because I want to introduce new, new detail. Example three of the less than. New detail. Uh -huh. uh, professor, how? 14. 14, 14, 14 was 12 plus 2, no? Okay, I, when I move, Mr. These two to the right hand side, fly to the right hand side, it's positive, and 12 plus 2 is 14. 
It's okay? Yeah, yeah. I understand. Okay, good. I promise this is the, the, the test one is easy. However, the the frequently question that the student fail in the question and the test number one is this part. Uh -huh, because the student don't believe, I don't care, the bar, you remove the bar, no rule, I am crazy, okay? I, I warning. Okay, so now suppose 3x minus 1. Actually, but less than or equal. Well, it's the same, professor. The only new situation okay, you, okay, you can see is the equal sign. Okay, equal sign, equal sign. I suppose the equal sign uh, give me a bracket, no? but the rule is the same. The absolute value expression is already isolated. I remove the bar. And this is in between 11 and negative 11. Addition one, opposite sign of this, addition one, addition one, plus one. This is minus 10. Let's then go to 3x. This is cancel out. That's what's the intention. And this is 12. 11 plus one. Finally, divided by 3. Whole thing. Part by 3, whole thing. Because I want to isolate the x, this is negative 10 over 3. It's less than or equal x, it's less than or equal 4. Uh, when it's possible, reduce or division, you can, of course. Suppose interval notation, like at the test, interval notation, well, 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 so say you put it the lower bound, que is negative 10 over 3, comma, the upper, que 4, and you put a bracket, que indicate os. Que the end point get four and negative ten over three belong to the solution. Okay, because the, how do you know equal sign? No equal sign, parenthesis. The end point do or not belong to the solution. Okay. Professor, Professor you, you use the brackets for this one because of um is is greater or equal than rank? Yes. Okay. Let me let me reinforce this idea. Look, look, look. When you see Less than or equal bracket. Okay. Ah, uh, bueno, bueno. Suppose que I want to complicate your life. Well, in this case, no, because this less than is coming from this. See, this is less than to say everything is less than or equal. But in another hypothetic, uh, uh, no necessary absolute value, que I suppose que is negative 10 over 3 less than x. Uh, less than or equal four, ah uh, well, well, the solution you write like that minus ten over three, comma four parenthesis because we have no equal sign, and bracket. The interpretation of this idea is a more clear geometric interpretation. This is my Orient number line. This is zero, one, two, three, four. And 10 divided by 3, 10 divided by 3 by hand is 3 times 3 is 9, remaining 1 is 1 third. Okay, A is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. It's in between negative 3 and negative 4. So you split this segment in, in three segments. The first one is 3, negative 3, 1 third. Or 10 over 3 is equivalent in proper fraction. But basically, this is my solution, this interval. But, but here we have bracket because include four. I know this, and here we have parentheses because do not include that number because I don't see any equal sign here. Invisible. Any question, Miss? Everything okay? Yes, I yes, did. Super. Any other question? Of course, you need practice. That is the reason. Okay, the reason is. I visualize in my mind you doing the homework in Alex. Alex may be sometimes a little bit confusing, but you don't worry because I can help. I can help. Any any problem you stuck in one question of Alex, you can email me or you visit my tutor service. I repeat again, is Monday. 
from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. and uh, Friday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Because Friday I'm only working in the lab to 5 p.m. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. if you email open during the weekend, uh, what? okay, why not? When I open the email, I see, I see your question. Uh -huh. I, I highly recommend can you uh, take a screenshot of the question, no? Because no, the question number three, no, 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 no. Uh, Alex is different for every student. It's the same objective, it's the same kind of question, but change the number. So the, the, the question number, uh, in the homework one, the question five, okay, I can see in my platform is different to you. So I solve it, say, no, listen, no. Uh, the, the, my question, no, no, you take a screenshot, don't submit anything because when you open again, Alex change the number. You see, I, you try to do in the piece of paper. I don't understand it. Okay, so I email to the professor. I take a screenshot and I send to the professor, professor solving in five seconds, and I send back the solution. Okay, maybe, maybe, I try to explain in the paper more clear, but however, so you don't understand to say now uh, in the tutor or after the class. It's one possibility. Okay. It's clear the idea or no? Guy, in the test, I, I cannot help. So you, so you send me one question of the test immediately. I recognize because I know by memory the 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 20 question of the test he, no i cannot because it's your test not my test i passed this class okay let's move on to the case greater than we case greater than Uh -huh. When you have inequality, suppose again, suppose the classical example, where we have a classical example. Uh, absolute value, let me change, not three, only three, three, five. Play it down five. Let me try to understand this idea. But to understand this idea, I want to again doing the number line. Okay, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five. I know, one, two, three, four, and then I know, okay, less than is this part. And why? Because it's close to zero. But in this case, it's greater than, it's not close, it's a far, the zero. So in this case, far the zero is that part, far the five, uh, too far of five, uh, that part and that part. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. Remember, this thing is, uh, suppose, suppose, technically, suppose uh, positive six belongs to the solution, of course, because absolute value six is greater than five, because six is greater than five. It's a true, it's solution. And uh, negative five belongs to the solution, of course, because absolute value negative five is positive five, it's greater than five. Okay, so now the easy way to remember is the interval in this case, by the way, is two interval. Okay, so I call some time in this equation, when I face, look how I grade that. When I open your test, yeah, I see, okay, so you solving one problem of the greater than, you, you write only one interval, I know that you are wrong. Uh, one problem of the less than, the solution is only one interval because it's that part. So less than, let me use in yellow color, I know it's that part. This is less than. Problem. But greater than is this. And this, both. Green is greater than. And less than is the yellow part. You say, well, okay, I understand, but I, I, I don't know the rule. I don't, ah, the rule is easy. The rule is, this is equivalent, look. This is equivalent. 
This is equivalent. Okay. Uh, this symbol indicates equivalent, que es no equal. It's more than equal. It's twin brother. So this is pressure and this is pressure is the same. Uh, reading in different symbol, but it's equivalent. 100%. Then you copy, you copy, you copy, you copy, you copy, you remove the bar, you put X two times. I know it's two times similar to equation because you have two interval, no? And the first interval is more, you know, obvious, it's greater than five. Uh -huh. And the second interval is less than negative. And you connect it by or, it's union. Okay, this is the rule. When you separate, you copy the expression inside the bar, without bar, two times separately. And you copy the right hand side number positive and negative. And in this moment, you have also a compound inequality, but it's different to the three part compound inequality that you applied before. Because in the three part, the conjunction is and. Uh, actually, I don't see any and, but the default is and. No? Uh -huh. I need to know. Uh, in this case, no and is or. I remember or is union. Union is put together without repetition. Let's open. Let's open one example of the greater than and apply the rule directly. Suppose, actual value x plus three plus five is greater than or equal to it. So I introduce two new complications, or three new complications. Look, no, three new complications. Number one complication is the actual value is not already isolated. Okay, I know. I should do, I must do. Number two, I introduce greater than get the new rule. And also equal sign, can I know get bracket? Okay, but okay, step by step. You isolate the absolute value first. I move five to the other side. Sorry, I 12 here, I 12. Sorry, I 12. No one, say one is negative. He said negative, I don't know what happened. Well, I, actually, I know, but I know now. So it says greater than or equal 12 minus 5. 12 minus 5 is there. So my inequality so far is actual value x plus 3 greater than or equal 7. Okay, now we are ready to apply that rule now. You are ready to apply that rule. How you apply that rule? Easy. You remove the bar and you copy two times the expression inside the bar. The reason is two times clear because you have two intervals. And you put greater than or equal seven. This looks like obvious. Only remove the bar. And here is less than or equal negative seven. Ooh, two modifications. One inequality contain greater than, another contain less than. Because one is to the right and another to the left. And you can 18 by one. Because in this moment, you isolate, you solving, sorry, the compound inequality. How you solving the compound inequality? Easy. You solve it separately one by one. And finally, we connecting graphically. That's all we, we are doing in the compound inequality. Subtracting three. Bring down the x, cancel out that part. Hey, hey, look, I'm crazy. Subtracting three, this is three. Uh -huh. Cancel out that part, greater than or equal, four. And, and don't touch, leave it like that for a moment, temporary. Now again, subtracting three. Bring down x, that part is canceled, less than or equal, minus three. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, almost, we finish. Now I represent graphically these two pieces. I don't know why, but well, I know the last step in the compound inequality always is graphical. And graphic is super good to visualize the idea. Okay, we have four 
one, two, three, four, and negative 10. Negative one, negative two, negative three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and negative 10. Uh -huh. Now, that part, that part is obvious, which is this. Let me use it in different color. That part is this. Mm -hmm. Include the four inside the solution. Of course. How do you know? Because it's simple. Okay. Now that part. Is here. So from negative 10 to infinity. Include a negative 10 inside the solution. Of course include a negative 10. Because. I can see here equals. Okay. And this is the final answer. Yes, why not? However, you say, Professor, they need always in the test uh, interval notation. Professor, how is the negative 10 of regular? Um, mm -hmm. Why is it not the bracket if it's less or equal to? Sorry, because I make a mistake. You're right. Okay. Thank you to warning me. Okay, it's no a it's bracket. It's only the bracket. A bracket because it's equal sign. Okay, now I try to express it the final answer in interval notation. Okay, just in interval notation, I see that we have two pieces, the yellow part. And the, and the green part. I use a different color to illustrate the idea, but no, no, no. In the test, you don't need to use a different color. You're using the same color because it's the same answer, no? Then you copy separately. Doesn't matter. The order is not important. It's from negative infinity, comma, negative 10, bracket, and four, comma, infinity. And we connect to illustrate is the is together using that symbol to indicate union. Union okay, is put together. So, so you pick, for example, one value here, a solution. Yes, you pick one value here, negative 11, a solution. Yes, you pick another value here, a solution. Yes, you pick another value here, a solution. No, no, solution. only this bunch of value, including side. This is clear. Okay, we have more example. Well, we have more example. And we have complicated, complicated and confusing example. Because sometimes, normally, we have the special. Remember, the special is, okay, you smell the one case is special when you include a negative number or zero. Do you see in the equation? The equation was clear. And now, in the inequality, it's more confusing. When they, for example, in the equation, when the right-hand side is, is positive, we have two solutions. When the right-hand side is negative, no, no, no solution. And when the right-hand side is zero, we have one solution. But what has going on in the inequality? It's the same, no, no, a little bit different. Well, it's similar, but no, 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 100% true. Let me explain. A special case, when it's less than, be, be careful, be careful, be aware. For that situation. Suppose this example, uh -huh, okay, it's like a, let me copy like a special. Cases of inequality. Okay, suppose this. Example one special. Actual value of x minus 10, minus 2, less than or equal minus 3. Okay, okay, okay. I understand very well that the actual value is not already isolated. That's the first thing you should do. So now, actual value of x minus 10, I move negative 2 to the right hand side, so less than. Or equal minus three plus two. 
-hmm. You combine. Negative one. Uy, so when you see the right hand side is negative number. This is smell like a special. Case. Es obvio que no solution. Es obvio que no solution because uh, this distance, because this, I, am, in, I can interpret it like a distance. Never is it equal or less than. Or equal, no. And less than, worse. Uh, negative one. Because the distance is always positive, no? No equal negative, less than negative, of course, it's worse. So say, hey, okay, keep the same idea when the right hand side is negative. And be careful, we are working in the less k scenario, less than a scenario. Uh -huh. This explanation that I did before is totally valid. However, surprise, what do you think happened in this special case? Okay, we have x minus 4 plus 5. It's greater than or equal 4. Again, 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 I need to isolate. I need to isolate. The expression can contain actual value. I move five to the right hand side, like a minus five. We have greater than or equal to four minus five. And it's a negative one. The mine inequality is x minus four is greater than or equal to negative one. Again, right hand side is negative. But in this case, we are working with the greater than a scenario. And greater than, this is the distance, I know. And the distance is always positive number. And positive number is greater than or equal to negative one. Of course, yes. For what number? For any number. So what is the solution, professor? The, the, the solution is infinity many solution. It's all real number. Satisfy this in one. Do you understand this or no? OK, OK, OK. If you interpretation, the actual value expression is distance, and distance, you know, is a positive number, it's a positive quantity, positive number, I don't care, 10, 20, 5, is greater than negative 1. Of course, yes, the same is true. And equal, equal negative 1, no, no, equal, no. Equal is totally illogical. However, it's all real number. Certify this condition. So, so you plug in here any value, doesn't matter, get 1000 or negative 2000, uh -huh, 1000 minus 4, I don't care, actually, but it's positive, it's true. Negative 2000 minus 4, and minus 2004, actually, but become positive, again, it's greater than it's negative 1. Therefore, any, any value can you plug in inside this. Uh, Especial, no? Inequality is true. Do you follow me? Do you follow me? It's confusing, clear? Come on, I want to hear opinions. Good. Good, good. Sum up. Okay. And what about zero, professor? Well, I have no idea. Zero is also a special. Of course, zero is also a special. So when you have in the right hand side zero, Remember in the equation, uh, we have one solution, no? To say in the inequality, I have no idea. Okay, so both in the test I put something like that. Okay, let me try to do. I know very well that this symbol is less than or equal to. or equal to. And also I know that when you have the, the conjunction or, we can split the problem in two problems. So I can split the problem like that, 7x plus 3, less than 0, or okay. this statement and this compound is, is totally equivalent. Yes or no? Equivalent. 
What is the reason why I split? Uh, because I want to analyze separately. Yeah, I know. I told you before. Here, in the first example. That when you have less than, well, less than zero is, is, is contradiction, no? Because, see, this is distance. See, this is distance. And the distance is always positive number. A positive number is less than zero. This is com completely wrong. It's completely false. That's mean that this part do not apport anything. Anti set. No solution. So the less than is totally, I can delete mental. And equal, no. Equal, I know that when you study equation, you remove the bar. Now you solve this elementary. 7x equal minus 3 divided by 7 both sides. x is equal minus 3 both sides. Okay, so this is weird, Professor, because this uh, inequality, we have no interval. No, no. We have only one value, the solution. And when it's one value, you don't represent in this notation, get bracket, parenthesis, no, 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 no. No, we represent like we represent the solution for the equation is using curly bracket negative three also. Because this indicates that it's like a one or two, in this case one, but in other case two in the equation, you have three solutions, you separate by comma, it's one specific discrete point, no interval. And the interval is when you use in bracket, but in, you know. Okay, so now less than or equal, I ignore totally less than in my mind uh -huh. yeah, I focus in the equal part and what about greater than mm. greater than is different always greater than is different greater than is suppose suppose example one number four uh-huh Suppose that you have actual value x plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. Well, it's, it's equivalent to say x plus 2 greater than 0 or x plus 2 equal to zero. The solution of this is a piece of okay. cake. And negative three. Okay, similar to this, it's one isolated point. However, the solution is no, is no empty. No, 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 no. It's empty, it's empty when uh, it's less than, because the interpretation, this is this time, and any this time is a positive number, it's always greater than always. It's the it's a keyword always, always. You always mean all random. Yeah, I don't care that part because that part is included inside this. Was that greater than? It doesn't matter. Uh -huh, greater than. Uh, on the right hand side, negative number or zero is all random. Bueno, depende, no? Depende si es equal or no equal. It depends if it's equal or no equal. But in this example, suppose that I re remove the equal sign. Suppose, suppose, theoretically, suppose that I remove the equal sign. To say is equivalent to say only that. Because that part do not exist, because we have no equal sign. So I, I copy identical. And to say now, uh, is Orion number also the solution? No. Because we have one value, okay, by the way, is this, is negative two. Okay, when you plug it in here, look, minus two plus two is zero. Uh -huh. But it's okay in this, because you have equal sign. But in this case, no equal sign. So this is Orion number. Let me write here, all real number.
except one bad guy. In this case, is the value that uh, makes zero the expression inside. Okay, is x equal minus. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, suppose que in the test I put something like that. Okay, suppose que no. Uh, how you indicate that? Let me try to do my best. This is already a number. This is zero, negative two here, negative one, negative two. So we have here in negative two, we have, we have, we have a hole. A hole. This is a classic guy. Uh, try to uh, take to this idea that okay, sometimes we have hole. Uh, everything to the right or to the left is okay. However, in the middle of the real life, we have negative two case, totally invalid this. No, because no zero. Zero is completely false. Now, how you write interval notation? Well, okay, minus infinity, comma, minus two, parenthesis, parenthesis, union, minus two, comma, infinity, parenthesis, parenthesis. And this indicates that this parenthesis don't touch, don't contain negative as a whole. In conclusion, in conclusion, let me summarize the special case. I suppose it's not super important in the test. Uh, guys, the document I sent today in PDF format is the review. We try to spend next week, entire next week, Tuesday and Thursday, doing this package. Uh -huh. Now you are ready, and Thursday is the last day of the week. I will send, but not today, next week. Third day, I will send the test. Then you have, you have, third day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and even Tuesday, because twenty first is Tuesday, no? Uh -huh, twenty first. Uh -huh, when we're doing uh -huh. the test, do we have to send you a copy of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You solve it in one piece of paper, in your own piece of paper, and you convert. So you have a scanner. You convert to electronic format and send me by email. So uh, you're gonna uh, send us a file? Yes, yes. Okay. And the due date for this uh, reading test is September 21st. At midnight. At midnight. At midnight. At midnight. Suppose I walk in, uh, woke up uh, September 22nd no? in the morning. Uh huh. I get up. I open my computer, I check it one by one your, the test of my student of the college. Okay? okay. Can you show us how to do like an example of a written discussion? Do we still have to do that? Well, no, actually, we are doing it, no? But okay, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in the review of Luke and Luke, in the review, the example 23, 24, and 25, no, no, it's not special. That's mean it's special. Ah, yeah, yeah. 22 is special, 23 is special, and that's it. So special is no, no, no important. No extremely important for the effect of the test. Let me summarize. Hey, hey, what happened? Hey, noise. Noise, noise, noise. Okay, good. Let me summarize. It's the last thing. Uh, basically, when you have, look, summarize. of the special, summary of the special. Okay, suppose you have actual by any expression, less than C. This is no solution, always. Number one. Number two, you have actual by any expression, greater than or equal to zero. This is equivalent to say, all real number. Satisfy this in a way. Infinity minus solution. Number three, actual value, any number, less than or equal to zero. Uh, this is equivalent, equivalent to solving this equation. Remove the bar, remove the less than, you care only the equal sign and solve this equation. Number four, suppose now, 
Okay, you have absolute value of any number greater than zero. Oh, this is equivalent for solving this equation. But zero, you remove the bar, you remove this sign, and you put this sign. No equal sign. Because we have a hole in that point. And the point, so actually, actually, for example, let, let's do it quickly, 2x plus 1. You take this expression, remove the bar. Uh -huh, to say, and you, and you, you put no zero. Professor, but I don't know how you're solving this. Okay, no problem. You copy like equation, you are, you have it as solving with the sigma. Okay, no problem. Subtracting one, two X, cancel out that part, keep on negative one, divided by two, divided by two, X equal one half. And this is the solution is you change that symbol for this symbol. That means in negative one half, we have a hole. And the rest is okay. And the rest is okay. Clear or confusing? Mm -hmm. Well, we clear, have clear. clear. We have, for example, uh, look, 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 number five, number six. Suppose you have uh, actual value any expression uh, less than, and you put negative ten. Oof. This is equivalent to say no solution. It's exactly the same thing. Because actual value okay, this time never is less than any negative number. And number six, actual value any greater than negative 10, the solution is again already. Because actual value gets okay, the distance always here and never the keyword. And here the keyword is always any number satisfy this. I did never satisfy. No solution, infinity minus solution. Guys, I finished today. Any question? Any doubt? Any problem? Um, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Let, let me wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Let me second. Let me see. Let me try to stop sharing. And you see my face now. Okay, question. Come on. We do the review for test one today, right? Okay, no, no. 